It seems like just yesterday we were gushing over who we would marry someday and how perfect our weddings would be. I remember talking to you about what you were looking for in a husband and praying for exactly that for you. It wasn't too long after that you and Matt got together. Days of a brand new start came in perfect time and measure. Grace and a golden heart, how we've thrown our arms around you. As a dad, you give your child advice and you just hope that your child takes advice. Probably the best advice that he took from me, which I'm kind of happy about, said, man, when you need to find a wife, go to church. God is important in your life. And if God is important in your wife's life, you got that solid foundation. Doesn't matter what life throws at you. Because you're going to have the strength to make it through. You got to do it based on that faith and that foundation in Christ. Ever since I saw you in church, I knew you were, you were special and I just wanted to get to know you. There was never a doubt in my mind that you would end up together. I just want to thank you, Catherine, for taking good care of my son. You've been doing a great job. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah. Bonita. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Thank you. We'll give you a hug first. We'll give you a hug. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Hi, Danny. I have Danny here. We'll turn it. See him. I gotta turn it. Hi, Danny. Hi, Catherine. Thank you. The first reading today comes from Genesis chapter 2, verses 7, then 18 through 24. Then the Lord God formed the man of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living creature. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. And it's crystal clear where we go from here, where we go from. I know you've been counting, counting the days. We have two for this very special day. We're so blessed to be here with so many wonderful friends and family. Now, while marriage is a holy thing, and that's why we're here, it may not always seem so, as you have spent so much time and so much energy doing physical and material preparations for this special day. But it all has led to this, to coming to this special sacred place. We are here in a church, God's house. We are here with you today to celebrate God's promise of his presence in your lives and his divine desire to bring joy, joy in your married lives together. Uh, so Matt was living with me when he first met Catherine. Uh, I knew it was serious when he started volunteering for school and church on his days <laughs> uh, the, the, the relationship was very early on, uh, and with jobs and growing up in life, you've got to move, you've got to take promotions. So Matt moved to New Jersey. Uh, during that period of time, Matt and I would stay in contact. He would still come back down to Tampa quite a bit. Um, and when I say he was back in Tampa a lot, that meant he was sleeping at my place and spent every waking hour with Catherine. <laughs> so out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, 
There was not found a helper fit for him. I, Matthew, in the presence of God and these witnesses, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. Take you, Catherine, to be my wife. Hi, Catherine. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Matthew. Take you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my husband. Have and to hold to this day forward. This love was made for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. To love and to cherish until death parts us. Until death parts us. I now present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Massey.